All right, guys, Ross Robinson here, and today we're looking at Rambo, my full mod Polaris 155 Axis that um, I've been building over the last two years. It's relatively the same snowmobile as last year, but I never really gave an in-depth look at all the parts and products that I use on it. So today, we're gonna do a short video series on all the stuff I use, all the companies that are involved, and all the sweet bling that makes this snowmobile such a beast. First part about Rambo and all the products on it, we're gonna talk about all the skins product. Some of the trickiest, coolest looking stuff in the industry for sure, and um, you know, they make so many products, a whole array, and I've got a lot on this snowmobile. So we're gonna start at the front, work our way back, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So, we got this, the skins bumper. Um, they have so many options, especially for the axis. I mean, you've got a ton of different options that are gonna help protect your sleds, and also they have a great way of not breaking um, overstructure tabs, a cool little mounting system they have inside there. And then from there, we just kind of work our way back. I've got this Skins Helium Access Hood. This thing is so sweet. Open it up, heats up goggles. I throw gloves in there, anything that I need to store. Huge bag right behind your windshield. And you know, there's no kidding that this thing holds a lot of stuff and it gets super warm in there. Then we're gonna come down and look at the skins um, extreme front end. This is the Brant front end that uh, he's been working on for a few years now. Super lightweight. You can get it in either chromoly or aluminum lowers, aluminum upper arms. It's got carbon fiber steering rods, full billet spindles drilled out, super trick looking. I've got the custom army green powder coating they did for me. And this front end's so sweet because you can see all the caster that's in it and it helps with bump steer a lot. Along with the A-arms push the spindle three quarters of an inch further forward. And you know, it handles really well, 37 inch on center. And uh, went in the axis chassis, you know, we, we decided we don't really need to go super narrow, but we have this amazing handling machine and it's not too squirrely at that 37, along with that forward pushed and just amazing front end that you can really throw anything at and handle those bumps great, especially on a side hill. And moving back on the snowmobile, um, handlebars controls. These are five inch titanium handlebars from Skins. They heat up ridiculously. They're a little bit flexible and uh, they're super lightweight. My favorite part about them though is the heat. When you turn your hots on your heated grips, it just like melts your hands off, which is so nice for me because I have wimpy hands anyways. And then we have the Skins Heated Adjustable Brake Lever, uh, a moto-like or mountain bike-like brake lever. That is unreal. You can move it in or out, gets heated, and you know, it's so essential because if you don't ride with your finger on the brake, you're just not doing it right. You gotta ride with your finger on the brake, and that's about the only way to do it is with that Skins Heated Brake Lever. Then we've got my arc controls here that we're gonna talk about a little bit more in a second. Um, you know, you can lock that bad boy all the way out or release it. We're gonna talk about why that's so impressive when I look at the shot here in a second. But now, gas tank and seat combo, pretty trick setup. Got my custom army green coated 252 tank from Skins. Holds about eight and a half-ish gallons. But then my seat and tank combo is super sweet with this lightweight seat. This is the seat that Brant runs. The seat and tank combo together save you 10 pounds, which is pretty incredible when you're thinking about that. You, you wouldn't think it's that much, but huge weight reduction, looks super trick, super comfortable seat, you know, when you're tired and you need to ride home, gotta sit down, you know what I'm saying? And then my traction on this sled, um, Skins Shorty Running Boards to use. They're pro tube design. They have great traction, but they're actually easier on boots than a stock running board. They're tough and they're lightweight. So I showed you a little bit on the arc system. We looked at the controls on locking and unlocking the shock, but basically that lever runs a cable back here to this little shock right here. And this is a little magic, magic area on the snowmobile. So basically what this shock does is it will not lock out, but it will soften or stiffen up your rear skid. And when Rambo on 12 pounds of boost wants to ride wheelies and I want to climb up something, I can go ahead, lock that arc out, and it'll help plant my front end a little bit more and help me get going forward instead of straight up. So that's a really cool piece from Skins. And then 
We move back to our final piece of protection on the solar bill. We've got our skins, rear bumper for the axis. This is the standard version. The Brant version's a little bit shorter, lightweight. Um, Dan also has his own version, the next level version, which is pretty sweet as well. But great bumper, rounded, gives you great tunnel protection and a little bit of reinforcement, you know. When you gotta ride wheelies, you need some protection back here before you bend tunnels and break stock bumpers. So awesome lightweight aluminum bumper from Skins to wrap up this beast. Thank you.